When you are all set and done with your AutoCAD drawings and you have your layouts and you want to begin to send them to other people, you want to print them and send them off or you want to be able to save them in emails and send the different images over or even create them into individual pictures so that you can import them into different programs, maybe creating something such as a PowerPoint you would need to save these drawings individually or together as a different file. The file that I recommend saving them as are PDFs. To create your file PDF, you will go over and export them into a PDF. So right now I have our plan view up in front of us. I have my file folder already created where I want to have my PDF sent to. And I'm simply going to type in plan view, giving it a file name because it's only going to be this plan view. How do I know that? I'm going to go down to where it says export and I don't want to do all layout tabs right now. I just want to do the plan view. So I'm going to select the current. Current means the current screen that I am on at this moment. When you go to your PDF presets at the top, you can have it a general documentation. You most likely want to have that high quality print if we're going to be printing. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to say I'm transferring from a drawing to a PDF. Coming down to my options tab, I want to go ahead and make sure that the vector quality is pretty good. I'm going to bump mine up to 1200. And that's to make sure that those lines, those fine lines are shown up very well in my drawing. The output, once I select this to be done, I want to be able to open it in my viewer so that I can kind of get a nice good look at it and make sure that it is okay before it is saved. You also have the option to include the plot stamp. Now let's take a look at that. Clicking on this little stamp icon here, it is saying that at the bottom of my drawing, it will have the drawing name, the layout name, if I want to have that, the date, the time, the device. You can select all of these items to be stamped on your drawing if you choose to do so. Most of the time, if you already have your title block, you're all set, so you don't need a lot of this information but you can always have the date and the time stamped and this is what it will look like on your screen to show you that preview of what the stamp is. is. Once everything in your plot stamp is selected, you can select OK. I'm going to choose to leave that off. Once everything is set up in your settings, you can press Save. And what it has done is created a preview of your PDF. Now your PDF is saved under your drawing files in which you selected and you can add this to any emails or any PowerPoint presentations or any type of documentation that you need um, when you are moving forward and trying to get these drawings sent off. Now what I have done is I've opened up a student version so that you guys won't be alarmed. You will see that it is okay. This is a stamp marker that shows up on student version files. You can individually click on each of your tabs or your layouts to have it print them separately or you can click on the first one or any one and you can go up to your export and you can export all of these files or layout tabs at one time into a PDF and they will all be separate images. To do that you will simply go over to where it says export and now you're going to scroll down to where it says all layout tabs. Selecting that and making sure that your settings are set to what you would like them to be, you will simply click.
click save and as you can see your screen is going through the process of clicking on all of your layouts and saving all of them so now in your preview you have your PDF that comes up and it has all of the sheets that were saved as PDFs so you can select on all of your individual drawings or layout tabs and once again you are set to open up the file and then go ahead and make them what you want them to be as individual drawings send them to whoever they need to be sent to or add them to PowerPoint presentations. At the bottom, just like when you are printing or exporting as well, you will get this bubble and it just lets you know that the plot and uh, publish job that you created is completed. There were no errors or warnings found. So there were no issues with transferring your document into a PDF or sending it to a printer. You can simply select the X and you're all set to go.